Hey guys, welcome to another Tech Age video. This one is going to be a little bit different than usual because it's an unboxing video. And while I don't have any experience with unboxing videos, I do have experience with opening packages. So I'm hoping my experience there will help. As you can see, we're taking a look at the Star Wars Galactic Empire Titan XP. Uh, these were announced last week, and this is one of two. The other one is Jedi Order, the light side version. Um, both are priced exactly the same as the original Titan XP, so $1,200. And if that seems like too much, you probably want to just consider about the, the sense of pride and accomplishment you would feel after buying one of these, after slaving at your work for how many ever hours it would require. Um, this isn't going to get a proper review, it's just going to get an unboxing because it's just a Titan XP. It's spec'd exactly like the older ones. Um, we happen to have an original Titan XP, so maybe that means SLI results are in the cards. No pun intended. Uh, before we get into that, I will show you the original Titan XP so you can get a little reminder of uh, how generic this looks compared to the Star Wars editions. Uh, it's basically the same as every other high-end GPU from NVIDIA recently, except it has a black shroud, just like the uh, other Titan Xs, actually. Well, the since uh, the Maxwell Titan X. So let's tear into this, shall we? Not really sure what to expect here, except for a Titan XP that looks like a Star Wars product. All right. This isn't going to be too ceremonious. Oh, wants to be a fighter here. Yeah, this requires a little bit of effort to remove. It's airtight. Uh, okay, there we are. So unlike the uh, original Titan XP, this one has a nice glass or plastic case, a windowed case. It looks really nice. It's more like a showcase. So if you have a lot of disposable income and you don't even want to use the card, maybe you'll just want to buy one and hang it on a shelf or something. Um, yeah, it looks really sharp and it requires even more tape to be removed. So let's uh, get to that. Here we are. Okay. All right. I don't know if I actually got it entirely there. There we do. Okay. There. Remove that sexy uh, glass piece. Plastic piece acting as glass piece and then uh, that's what we're left with is an unboxing uh, interesting I'm having a lot of fun so here's uh, a close-up of the graphics card I don't know if it's gonna come through great on the video but it might be alright I'll include high-res images anyway um, this Titan XP actually looks so much better than the original I shouldn't say so much better. I'm sorry, NVIDIA. The top one is nice too, but the bottom one is uh, a lot nicer. Um, what makes this really cool, and the reason why NVIDIA gave us a choice between uh, the light or dark side, um, they both have their appeal, but the light side is, um, it has a green LED, which I don't really find that interesting on an NVIDIA graphics card because uh, this Titan XP has a green LED, so it doesn't really seem that special to me. But red on an NVIDIA card, you bet your ass that's special. And that's clearly <laughs> the joke here. This is a dark side card, and it has red, which obviously represents AMD being the dark side. I think that's really cool. It should just It's going to be a collectible item in the future, I think, because uh, you don't see too many NVIDIA cards with red uh, LEDs, though this is not the first. I have seen it before. Um, says Titan XP at the top. That's pretty cool. The glass window is actually a little bit smaller than the original, but the uh, it actually will have lighting in behind there where this doesn't have the lighting. This only has the lighting up top, which is fine for the most part because when it's installed, you're not going to see the lighting underneath. But that's why I think these cards are going to be really hot topics for uh, modders because I could picture somebody buying both cards and just creating a new 
chassis design where using some PCI risers, they could just have both cards kind of like suspended in midair fighting each other. I don't know. I think that would be really cool. Um, the Galactic Empire logo was right in the center there. And as you'd expect, the Jedi Order one also has a logo, the appropriate logo. This also says Galactic Empire at the top. So instead of Titan XP, so that's a really nice touch. Um, this looks like water cooling, is it? I don't think so. I don't remember reading that part. No, it's just, it's meant to look really cool. And that's really the point of this. Whereas the, the Jedi Order one is more, what do you want to call it? Rustic, I guess, brushed aluminum kind of. Kind of made to look like low end, but it's really not at all. Whereas this is meant to look really high end and shiny and glossy. Um, both cards are supposed to represent the hilt of a lightsaber, which you can probably tell. Unfortunately, I didn't have a lightsaber on hand to actually cut open the packages. I had to use some standard boring knife, but whatever. That's what you can expect. And uh, I actually haven't seen this before. NVIDIA decided to uh, protect the, the PCI power connectors. That's really interesting. It's not as if somebody's not going to use them, so... Whereas usually there's connector protectors here where people just don't use all of the connectors. So that makes sense. But here, I don't know. It's just a nice little touch, I guess. So at the back, it looks like we have, yeah, three display ports, one HDMI. That's really the most boring stuff about this card, though. The thing that makes this card so awesome is what's just going to sell it is just the fact that it's Star Wars and it looks seriously cool. It even has Star Wars in the back etched in where this one says titan xp this one actually says star wars and looks way cooler so as i mentioned this card is not going to get a proper review because it's just a titan xp um i have been meaning to do a 1080 ti sli test so i might as well add titan xp to it um i guess we should see how those fit together uh, so yeah, if we want to put that in there that way. Now this is interesting. I don't know if that's going to actually fit. Now that's interesting. I can't put the SLI connector in because of this thing blocking it. Although, I guess if you want to put that on the bottom, you could do it that way maybe. I would have to assume if you have one of these cards though and you're going to be SLIing them, you'll probably have the other one too, but yes, there we are. There we are. That configuration will work. The other one would not. I don't know. That's really weird. Maybe you can remove this. I don't know. I will have to find that out before the video goes up, I guess. So yeah, there we have it. I'll have more high-res imagery on the website. You can click the link in the description below. But before I wrap up, I'll also show the card lit up because I obviously can't when it just comes out of the box. Before I go, I do want to tell a little bit of a story. And that's last week in San Jose. I was down there to, uh, for a Qualcomm press conference. And I paid a visit to NVIDIA's headquarters, their brand new ones, because it's only about a $15 Uber away. It's not far at all. Um, I was there in May and I saw it unfinished, so I really wanted to see it all finished up. Um, it's not even completely done inside. Like it, the, the building's done, but not everybody's moved over yet. There's still many, other, many people in the other office buildings that haven't moved over yet. And uh, like Jensen Huang, I don't even know where he's going to be. I don't even know if he knows where he's going to be yet. But as I understand, he's more of a floater anyway, so he'll just go wherever he's needed. He doesn't really need a standard central office. So, But anyway, um, the new office isn't open for the public as far as I'm aware. We had to go as guests. Um, and inside is a gift shop. And that kind of caught my eye, especially since it's not open to the public. But I ended up buying a mug there I've kind of wanted for a while because I thought it looked really cool. Just a nice little NVIDIA mug. I'm not going to mention prices because they're really rock bottom at this gift shop, but that's just because it's not open to the public. Um, so I don't want to give inaccurate pricing. But at some point, NVIDIA is going to be selling uh, these mugs online. Um, dark mug, dark coffee. Kind of goes with the dark side theme, I guess. Now that product is just a mug. It's boring. This is not boring. 
I mean, it is kind of boring. It's a ruler. What, what can I say? But to me, it's not boring at all because it's an NVIDIA ruler, but it has a ton of ICs on it, different traces, integrated circuits. It's talking about inductors, diodes, just showing you what uh, technology really looks like. On the opposite side, they even have a fake GTX 1050 chip. Uh, what else? GTX 10, 1080 actually as well. Tegra X1, Tegra K1, even some GDDR4 and DDR4 there. I'll also include high-res imagery for this because, I mean, it's kind of dumb to be talking about it, but when am I ever going to talk about this? I just thought it was a really cool ruler. I had to pick it up immediately. Um, I was talking to NVIDIA about it, and if you want one of these, they will eventually be sold on NVIDIA's um, web store. But right now, all that's there is clothing, I think. But NVIDIA did tell me they will be debuting this. And probably the mug at some point, but I, I'm not going to quote pricing because the pricing at the store was uh, a lot less than I would have expected. So, based on that, I wouldn't expect I wouldn't expect them to be too expensive. So, if you want one, you'll be able to get one for pretty cheap. And I'm talking like ten dollars or less. So, with that, I guess that's really all I can say. Let's take another look, quick look at the the actual topic at hand, that which I am uh, smudging up quite horribly. I don't know, I think it looks really good. After I uh, finish recording this unboxing, I'm gonna put it in the PC and test temperatures versus the old one. I really don't expect anything different because internally the card looks almost identical. It's just the shroud on the outside that looks different. And of course it has the customized uh, back plate. And also these are customized too. They were, they didn't look like that on the original Titan XP. So yeah, there you have it. If you have $1,200 kicking around and you're a huge Star Wars fan, I would recommend going with the uh, Galactic Empire Edition because it looks really cool. But I will, of course, include pictures for the Jedi Order as well. So if you want to see what that looks like, that's cool. And if you have $2,400 to spare and you want to buy both of them, then all the power to you. I'm kind of envious. This is uh, a really sharp card, and I'm kind of impressed by it because you don't usually see NVIDIA team up with movie studios like this. Um, especially on the hardware side, on the gaming side, of course. NVIDIA offers many free games with the GPU purchases, but this is the first time I actually remember a, a movie tie-in like this. And I'm not sure what kind of money's changing hands or anything like that, or if any money's changing hands. You'd think it would, but I was kind of given the hint that maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video, and uh, if you... <laughs> I won't say if you enjoyed this because I don't plan to do a ton of unboxing videos, but if you enjoy our content in general, please subscribe. Uh, we have a lot more com content coming, so thank you very much for watching.